All right, this first segment is for all the guys out there. If you're a man who's been exercising, eating right, and you're still not getting anywhere, maybe not losing that weight, well, hormones could be to blame. Dr. Rob's in the house with the news that you need to know. Welcome to the show. How have you been? Good. And I know you put your exercise in because I see you in the gym all the time. But unfortunately, there's men out there that they're exercising, they're eating right, they're doing all the things that they can do, but because of either diabetes or being overweight, the obesity, and even having low testosterone, they're just not getting the results that they want, and they're frustrated and they're mad and they don't, I don't understand why I'm not getting rid of that gut that just keeps growing, and how do I do this, and how do I get rid of it? And we've got some answers today to help them solve those problems. Dr. So Rob, let's do it. Exciting medical news. Because what we're talking about here is for these guys that suffer from obesity and diabetes and they generally have low testosterone. There's some other medical causes. They can have things like brain tumors that can interfere and drop hormones. There's medications that they can be taking like statin drugs or beta blockers, which a lot of men are on, which drop their testosterone. They can be, uh, have radiation treatments or even suffer brain injuries. And as a man, what man hasn't hit their head at some point playing sports or have been in the military, and even those brain injuries can cause a lot of these problems. Well, there's only been a few solutions that have been out there. There's been gels that you can put on, there's been creams, there's injections. There has been a pill called clomiphene citrate, which has been out for a while, so that men can actually take this pill and it can affect their hormones, help them make more testosterone so they lose fat weight. The problem with the, this medication is that it has an estrogen in it, and this medication, this clomiphene citrate, has two components to it. N-clomiphene, which is this selective estrogen receptor modulator that blocks estrogen at the level of the brain, and zooclomiphene, which is actually has a little bit of estrogen. It's a weak estrogen, but estrogen nonetheless. Well, this new medication that just went through phase three testing and looks very promising with low side effect profile is called androxyl, and it's just enclomiphene. So for younger men and men that suffer from these problems, they're going to be able to just take one capsule, one of these, three times a week without having to mess with any of these other things that have a lot of different side effects. Yeah, and you know, as you were saying earlier on, extremely frustrating for these men that have been trying to exercise, trying to eat right, and this is something that's constantly like an uphill battle for them, but with something as simple as this, I mean, it makes it a lot easier for them. It'll be a lot easier to take a capsule on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and to boost your hormones naturally in what we call interventional endocrinology doing things that we can to the endocrine system that help boost up hormones naturally without having to take other hormones that interfere with the whole axis. So after you take this, kind of how does this work in the brain that really gets everything up and going? That's a great question, Zach, and I know we have a picture of the brain so we can show here. The enclomiphene actually works at a level of the brain called the hypothalamus, right in the center there, you can see where it says pituitary gland, and just above there, this enclomiphene blocks the effects of estrogen so that the brain then sends signals to the testes to make more testosterone. Very safe medication with low side effect profile and easy to use, easy to take, and is demonstrating great results in the studies that we're seeing that are coming out now. We're almost out of time here, but real quickly, any testing that you have to go through before you could possibly get something that is as easy, easy as this to take to help with that issue? Absolutely. You need to have the appropriate hormones tested to see where your levels are at, to understand where the problem is at, if it's at the level of the brain or the testes, and if this medication would work for you if you have those problems. Okay, and where can people find you? You can find us at RenewHealth.com. Dr. Rob, always a pleasure having you on the show. Great to see you. All right, let's go.